For those of you who are new to the feud between Rhea O'Reilly and Sami Zayn, let's look back at how we got to this point. It's February the 18th here at the Resistance Gallery in Bethnal Green. Laura Di Matteo, who was teaming up with Rhea O'Reilly to take on the Bay Club, getting an absolute pulverizing here. And ultimately her shoulders down to the mat for three. Terrific display though from the young wrestler. She would not be the focus of attention for Debbie Sharp and Sami Jane. That would be the champion, Rhea O'Reilly. And what follows now is a deplorable incident. Rhea O'Reilly absolutely assaulted post-match. Bay Club reveling in their dismantling of the champion, trying to put her out of action, stop her competing against Emi Sakura later that evening. They were very nearly successful as well, despite the belt being held aloft there by Sami Jane, it would not be Jane who walked away with the title that evening, nor would it be Emi Sakura, it was Rhea O'Reilly who mounted a successful defence in one of the performances of her life made all the more extraordinary by these really concerning post-match scenes. Fans thoroughly appreciative, the faithful. You can see there the concern everyone had for the fighting Irish as to whether she was going to be in any kind of state to compete. I certainly didn't expect to see her be able to come out, but underestimate Rhea O'Reilly at your peril. Now we turn our attentions to last night and about between the two of them that finished in a double count out. We we're just not at all aware of the referee's count. So personal was this, so aggressive the contest. It had all the makings of a terrific championship match as well. But it was halted by that irritating thing, the rule book. You can see they had no interest in stopping the contest. Rhea Riley and Sami Jane having to be separated on multiple occasions. They were eventually separated, but not for long. And consequently, eventually they were removed from either side of the arena. Charter Hall in Colchester. But Dan Reed, when he had finished trying to physically restrain the champion, made the announcement that the following night there would be a no disqualification bout here in London. is for the Pro Wrestling E Championship. And it is set for one ball. One ball. Introducing first, the challenger. title belt and her opponent oh, really
in these two matches that she's done that at the start, held up the belt. And, well, I just second the words of the fans here. She's not won it. Not won it yet, anyway. And straight away, Sammy Jane is targeting the back of Rhea O'Reilly. O'Reilly awkwardly down there. I don't think she's at all with it at the moment, following that drop kick to the back. And another very, very difficult landing for O'Reilly. I think she might possibly have gone face first into the canvas. And this is Sammy Jane through and through. You cannot help but loathe the way she goes about her business. But you can't do anything other than watch it almost awestruck. She is so good. Big lift, big German, big landing. Sammy Jane, a transformed wrestler at the moment. Well, she's got to get away from this. She's got to stop becoming fixated on the referee's count because that caught her out a little bit last night. Giving a gentle shove there to a fan now. Well, hang on a moment. Where's she going? Well, a reminder, oh no. This is a no disqualification encounter. And this is exactly what led to devastation for Rhea O'Reilly before. Jane's got to get that chair in position if she wants to do something with it to avoid giving O'Reilly the chance to fight back. And I hope, for goodness sake, that Rhea O'Reilly does know and notice there's a chair there. I don't think she has. Oh, yes, she has. She's blocked it. And Sammy Jane instead goes right into the chair. Well, that's a little bit of justice. You want to get the weapons out, you've got to be prepared for them to be used against you. O'Reilly. Uh, it's a little taste of Addy Star there. And a little taste of canvas for Sammy Jane. Now she's got the chair. Oh, how Rhea O'Reilly has waited for this moment, this chance to inflict some retribution with the chair, the chair that did so much damage to her, courtesy of the Bay Club, when we were last here on February the 18th. Look out, Sammy Jane! Oh, she's got to be out. She's just not moving at all. Go for the pin, surely. Oh, no. There's a sickening metallic crash there. O'Reilly, careful! She's gone over the top. Well, that's an extraordinary reply from Sammy Jane. I can't believe she's cognizant at all at the moment. What a dive straight through the ropes. And this one is escalating fast. She goes again. Oh, wonderful flight from Sammy Jane. I'm amazed she's not battling with a concussion forming here. She's thinking about a third. Gets a wicked little glint in her eye, Sammy Jane. Oh, no! Straight into the chair. And the noise level has just abated slightly now. I think those who were really close to the action there saw just how hard Sammy Jane hit, and she hit hard again. Well, no matter what your personal allegiances might be in a match like this, and I suspect that most of you watching side with the Fighting Irish, the champion, you have to say that nobody wants to see the kind of punishment that Sammy Jane took when she went face first into the chair there. Turn my attention to my monitor now. And we were rightly there, just slamming the door on Sammy J. That's the door shut on Sammy Jane's title chances. Well, Riley is in control. Taking, leading Sammy Jane back towards the squared circle. This might well be enough. She's not moving at all well, Sammy Jane. 
barely, barely able to even flinch. Can she kick out of this? Yes, she can. No title defence yet for the Fighting Irish, the 31-year-old. Cry of O'Reilly met with a cry of O'Reilly. DDT coming up, readjustment on the chair. No. Important that Sammy Jane defended herself against that, striking with the ends we get She's going for one of her own here. It's going to be a suplex. Just missing the chair by a whisker. And that may have prolonged the contest. Or not. I think if O'Reilly had. Well, hang on a second, this could be enough. A two and a surprisingly authoritative kick out from O'Reilly. Reminder that the title is on the line here. Sammy Jane striving to get the belt. Massive shot below the jaw. Hitting the ropes. Another leverage move coming up from Sammy Jane. O'Reilly's done well there to keep a hold. But I tell you what. This caught her out really badly on the 11th, and it's a case of deja vu here. What now from Sammy Jane? Oh, goodness. Rhea O'Reilly has had that happen to her twice against Sammy Jane. She's managed to leverage herself back into the ring almost, but has led to Sammy Jane seizing an opportunity for an attack which she did very well indeed. Reaching again here for something under the ring. This is a no disqualification match, what now? Oh dear. The table comes out. Sammy Jane. It's about to set up office in the ring. And the administration could well be very cruel here on Rhea O'Reilly. At least, if nothing else, the time spent setting up the table will just give the Irish wrestler a little bit of a chance to recuperate. Of course, that's assuming she doesn't then end up going straight through that table. Very real prospect. I'm seriously concerned for Rhea O'Reilly here because she barely moved during that. And this is a wrestler who's usually up as quick as a cat. And they're heading up right now onto the second. That table very awkwardly positioned for somebody in the centre of the ring, but who? Rhea O'Reilly sitting just for a moment. Supine position on the top turnbuckle. Sammy Jane is brilliantly positioned here. Oh, no! Straight through the table with a head scissors takedown from the top. That's done for it. That has to have done for it. Sammy Jane has got to be about to take her first Pro Wrestling League Championship. She moves across, drapes her body over the champion, and the champion has kicked out. But my word. How is it that Rhea O'Reilly kicked out after the abuse that she just took there? And Sammy Jane is perhaps losing her cool, and that's a worrying sign for the challenger. Rhea O'Reilly has been assaulted with chairs. She's been hit. And I've just paused there for a second because I've got a horrible feeling I know what's in that bag. I just hope that this match comes to a conclusion really quickly because someone's going to end up in hospital here. Someone's going to end up with career-changing injuries if this doesn't wrap itself up fast, if this feud doesn't have a decisive ending. to say. O'Reilly dropping down on Sammy Jane. This has to be the one that ends the bout. I cannot believe that anyone can kick out from that or even have the desire to carry on after what they've just taken. This is what the Pro Wrestling Eve title means. O'Reilly fixated 
and hurting Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn fixated on being the number one wrestler in Pro Wrestling Eve. I fear that O'Reilly is not heading to the back for a break here. Now what? Oh no. Don't get him involved. Kote Ibushi somehow finding himself involved in the whole war. Well, at least he's respectful about it. You've got to hand it to Kote Ibushi. He's a gentleman, isn't he? He always bows to a woman after attacking them. Well, here in Pro Wrestling Eve, no one is safe at all as the table now comes into play. This time from Rhea O'Reilly. She's been sent flying through one. But what now for Sami Zayn? This time it's Sami Zayn who's barely moving. Well, Rob Darcy sort of bullied in for the second time to helping the setup of the table there. And would you say no to Rhea O'Reilly, Aldrin? You just set up a table now. Rhea O'Reilly positioning Sami Zayn on the top turnbuckle, draped across the ropes. Is she thinking about the DDT through? No, nearly got it. But Sami Zayn wise to it, just took her a little too long to set it up, I think. Massive thump there, you can see the, the dust fly up. The debris here in the resistance gallery. This time, it's Sami Jane in control. It could about to be a case of deja vu here. Arrive. Oh, she's got a powerbomb right through the table. Onto the tacks, onto her back, out of the match. Rear O'Reilly defends and retains.
nice women coming over. This is like the biggest show. Awesome. I think I'd so the question I want to know, do you still have that gear? I do. I don't wear it. Oh. <laughs> I pretty much haven't changed my style the entire time. <laughs> Oh, it's oh, Kaylee. Holy Kay, look at them bangs. Yeah. <laughs> holy and back to the 80s. Red hair. Oh, that costume is so great. Throwing it back, baby. Throwing it back. Way back. You guys remember that band Power Man 2000 or something like that? <laughs> I feel like she belongs with them. I don't know what that is. It's like an industrial punk rock. <laughs> I'm Rican. I'm into Spanish music, sorry. Oh. And hip hop and Biggie Smalls and Tupac. You don't do that with hip hop. No? No. Oh. Just just no. Tito, why did you lie to me? Just, no. <laughs> it's the whole lean back. Yeah. No. 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 Just just, just. <laughs> oh. stay with Tito, please. Okay. <laughs> just Erin, calm her down. Just, just tell her to relax. The match hasn't even started yet. I know. The match what? hasn't even started yet. You're already like going crazy. <laughs> We're just watching like... entrances. But How long is so this exciting. match? How long is this going to go? Um, listen, listen. You need to fast forward it just, just a little bit because you're getting a little too rowdy. Oh. Too early. But, but I want to no, 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 no. It's like up. foreplay. You start small and you work your way. Okay? Just chill. Why don't you go at like 100% for five hours? What is your secret to that? <laughs> no, no, I think no. everybody wants to know that. <laughs> but I, we're talking about wrestling, right? Oh, oh that's it! Jamie gets the shoulder off of that German suplex. That's the same German suplex that Utami used to win the Even National Championship from Viper. Big move there from Nina Samuels, and no! Wow. Nina Samuels throws Jamie Hayter. Oh my goodness. What is this, a double jump? Oh! Oh my god, Jamie Hayter lands on the back of her head. Oh my god. Both women down. All three women down. D. I, I don't even know. I, I'm, I'm going to. All I can see at the moment is a sea of security guards. I can now see Charlie again back climbing that ladder. What is she doing? She's on the balcony. We just we heard she has only just come back from a collarbone injury. Taking a serious risk like that, that just shows the determination. 